tonight, travel turmoil. Airlines swamped with delays and cancellations. Some holiday travelers go nowhere fast. I'm Elise Preston in Newark, New Jersey. More than 2.4 million travelers passed through TSA checkpoints yesterday ahead of the 4th of July. Weather warning, a tropical storm zeroes in on the East Coast. Plus, stepping down, a top official in Uvalde, Texas is resigning as the investigation grows. We'll tell you who. Also tonight, a tragic turn in Ukraine. I'm Ramey Innocencio in Odessa, Ukraine, where at least 21 people have now died from Russian airstrike. Kyiv says Moscow is targeting civilians. Plus, historic payout. The first black Americans get reparations. Money meant to make it right. Is it enough? It's a start, but I don't think it's enough. And later, lights out, what's darkening so many 4th of July celebrations? I'm Nina Luciano in Los Angeles, where local officials are offering perks in exchange for illegal fireworks. This is the CBS Weekend News from Chicago with Adriana Diaz. Good evening. If you've already arrived at your destination this holiday weekend, consider yourself lucky. Traffic is backed up on highways and in airports, causing headaches and missed flight connections. Nearly two and a half million people went through TSA checkpoints Friday, the most since before the pandemic. Take a look at FlightAware's so-called misery map. Thousands were greeted with delays and cancellations. More than 600 flights were canceled and nearly 3,900 left late. That's why millions opted to drive despite high gas prices. CBS's Elise Preston is at Newark Airport with those brave enough to try to fly. Elise, good evening. Good evening to you, Adriana. Summer storms and airline staffing shortages are partially to blame for long lines at airports, resulting in shorter vacations for thousands of Americans. Across the country, families are hoping to get a 